Excuse me, sir. Do you know why they closed this place? The lack of money, I guess. It needs a lot of repairs. It was built in 1959, you know. Wow, I didn't know that. Is there anything left inside? Well, not a lot, but come on, I'll give you a quick tour. You can see for yourself. You know, I'd say just about everybody who ever came through here learned a little bit something about space. Yeah, I remember coming here as a kid. This is where I first decided I wanted to come to the Academy. Yeah, I've seen a lot of kids like you come through here. They just stare starry-eyed at the ceiling and, and look at the stars and the planets, wonder what else is out there. I'd really like to see it fixed up. It could be so much more. You know, I ran this place for years. I was really sad when they closed it finally. You know, we used to train navigators here, but with GPS. The new technology, though, for uh, domes is really amazing. You have high definition projectors that just seem to put you right into the show, and you're sitting right there in the middle of everything. But the technology for the full domes are really amazing. Okay. Full dome, imagine a salad bowl sitting up on edge, 50 feet across, and you're sitting right there in the middle looking into it. Out of your peripheral vision, all you can see is just the images that are projected right out there, and you're in the middle of all that. Just imagine, if you can, the history of the Air Force Academy, or the history of the Air Force, or a camera flying through the human body any training session that you could even think of. You know, this place could show you the vastness of the tiniest cell, or even take you to the far, far reaches of space. Oh, I get a little excited sometimes. It's okay. I can almost see it. I can see it. Potential. Real potential.